Okay, uh, experiment into whether the Nazi swastika can have a negative impact on plant growth. Here are four pots with the Nazi swastika underneath. And here are four pots with the traditional Hindu Buddhist swastika underneath, which has been associated with peace for thousands of years. Okay, so this is day one. Further updates to follow. Day four. Day five. Day six. And from this position. Okay, end of the swastika experiment. Uh, on my left are watercress plants exposed to the traditional swastika. And to my right, plants exposed to the Nazi swastika. I think there is perhaps a bit more growth on the traditional swastika, uh, certainly on number of plants and amount of kind of plant matter than on the Nazi swastika, but it's it's very difficult. There's very hard to see much difference, and I admit, um, you know, perhaps my personal bias is uh, interfering somewhat. Um, but at the end of the day aim of this experiment is just to really try and raise awareness about using plants to test um, kind of esoteric paranormal theories. Uh, so um, yeah, that's the end of the experiment. Uh, to finish, last look at the Nazi swastika plants and the traditional swastika plants.